Okay, so we're gonna go now between build and images. This is the fun part. So the first thing we wanna do is put a logo at the top of your email. It's very important, we suggested you wanna have people know immediately who this is coming from. So again, I had gone on the website, just done a right click. You probably all have your logo anyway. You just drag it and you just drop it. Just drag it and drop it over there. I'm gonna take out this logo. You just click on it and it gives you all the options of what to do. I'm gonna delete that. Oh, that's way too small. I'm gonna increase it. Yeah, it doesn't look so good. Let's see if there's another logo. Yeah, that's one's too fuzzy. Let's try this one. I'm gonna drag it and drop it. Much better. This one I don't like, I'm deleting it. Oh, this one has a white background. I don't like that so much. I'm gonna see if I can change the background so it mimics that a lot better. I'm gonna hover over here, hit the second button here, and it gives you the option of changing the background right here. I'm gonna hit the paint cup and change it so it looks nicer to white. I think that looks much better. I'm going to increase it. So it looks nice. And I want to put an image under there that looks nice and makes people think of cakes and my business. I'm going to put an image right under it. Um, if you want to think about spacing, you have to click, click on the image and it gives you horizontal and vertical spacing. This looks pretty good to me, so I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to drag it and increase the size. Wow, that looks nice. Oh, but now I want a little bit more space on either side, so I am going to Delete the spacing on either side, which allows me to drag it full screen. Okay, so now we have a nice logo, a nice header image. The two things you don't ever want to forget, you want to link the logo and your header image to your website. It'd be a missed opportunity if somebody decided to click on it and it led to a dead end. So make sure you click on this, you hit the link, you put the website, and you put your website in there. Very important for those two things. We, we recommend to our clients to link most of your images and most of your call to action, obviously. I tend to make a nice sort of tagline here for what your business would be. Some of you may have not a mission statement, but let's see, smart, classic. Let's see what her website had. Simple, classic, and delicious. Smart would have been fine too. You can just text whatever you want in there. Simple, classic, delicious. Okay, so I like the way that looks, but it's way too small. So I just highlight it and I increase it to whatever looks good to you. I like it. Like that looks good to me. I'm gonna change the font color because I want it to pop a little bit. Let's make it that nice green right there. Okay, I can make it even a little bit bigger. Just increase it till I like the way that looks. And I don't like that divider here, so I'm going to move that divider down. 